All right, inside this absolutely massive box, I have a home composter from a company called LycoClean. Now I'm very familiar with the Lomi home composter because I personally have it and I use it, but I am not familiar with any others. So this company, LycoClean, sent me this for free, full disclosure, but they are not paying me to do a review. They just wanted my honest thoughts on it. And so I thought it would be super interesting to take this LycoClean composter and compare it to the Lomi because that's something I would have loved to see when I was looking at which one to buy. So I have a series of tests prepared and we're gonna see how each one holds up against the other, kind of see the pros and cons to each and you can decide which one you personally like better and I will give you my thoughts as well. But first, we gotta get this thing open and get it all set up. While I unpack this, I just want to give a little commentary. The LycoClean didn't blow me away with its packaging, but that honestly was not a super big deal to me. I know the Lomi does put a lot of effort into that. When it came to its instruction manual, it was super simple and easy to understand. There wasn't too much in it at all. It was very simple. And once I inserted the filter, it was basically ready to go and start running. From here, I just went ahead and started the first test, which was to basically see what both of them could do with the variety of materials. So I have some plant-based packaging, and I put half of a sweet potato in, as well as some other kitchen scraps I had around. I tried to evenly distribute it so that it could be an equal test for the both of them. I went ahead and put in the buckets, and I started running the LycoClean first, just so that I would be able to test some certain features before I compared it to the Lomi's. Test number two that I'm setting up, I'm gonna place a piece of moldy zucchini and a piece of homemade bread into equal portions into both the LycoClean and the Lomi buckets. I sprayed some water on it just to give it moisture to really help the mold take off. The reason why I'm doing this is because the LycoClean has a storage mode. I'll talk more about it later, but basically it runs periodically and shines a UV light down on the food to keep bacteria from growing and from your food from getting stinky and moldy. So I want to see if it really works because I've definitely had trouble with food molding in my Lomi. For my third and final test, I got some bowls of homemade chicken noodle soup and I simply dumped equal portions into each. I just wanted to see how well they could handle something with a lot of water content. All right, so while I run those tests, I just want to go through some of the different features of both the Lomi and the LycoClean and kind of give my personal opinion and rate them on each. Before I do that, just know that both of these composters, they are linked below. If you do want to check them out, just scroll down to the description and you can find them there. I'm also doing a really fun giveaway. It's sponsored by LycoClean. Their company is also known as In Bloom, and they have so graciously offered to give some of you, our viewers, a smart gardening system as well as a mushroom grow kit. I'll put pictures up so you can see what I'm talking about. They're actually really cool. So if you are interested, there is a link in the description. You can just click on it. You fill out the form. It's really simple. And once you've done that, you have entered in. And I want to give a huge thank you to Like Clean slash In Bloom for sponsoring this giveaway for my viewers. All right, so let's get into looking at the different features of these two composters and kind of compare and contrast the both of them. And I just wanna say before we begin that this is my opinion. You certainly don't have to agree with it, but these are just my thoughts when looking at the both of them. So starting with how they run, they both are very similar. They have a drying cycle that dries out the food waste, as well as a mixing slash grinding cycle that mixes it up and kind of makes it into that pre-compost material that we know and that we desire at the end. The one thing that's different about the LycoClean is that once the cycle is done running, it goes into storage mode where it will continue to mix every now and then as well as shine a UV light so that no mold or harmful bacteria can grow on it. To be completely honest, I'm not sure that this is a huge win for LycoClean to have it running in the storage mode after the cycle's done because I've accidentally left that finished pre-compost material in my Lomi before for like weeks and weeks on accident and nothing has happened. It's just a dry material that has not molded, it's done nothing. So I don't think that's really needed, but 
The one thing I do love about that storage mode is that the storage mode also goes on just when you put your food scraps in and you close it. You haven't started a cycle. You've just simply closed the lid. It goes into storage mode and it shines that UV light on it and spins the little gears and it keeps it from molding. I'm gonna run a test to make sure this works, so stay tuned for the results, but I really, really love that it has that feature. So that's a win for the Lyco Clean for me. And the Lyco Clean just has one mode that it runs, which is super simple. The Lomi, on the other hand, has three modes. It has a short mode called Eco Express, it has Lomi approved mode, and then it has a longer mode called Grow mode, which is beneficial for those microbes to survive when you are adding it to your soil or your garden or wherever you would like to place it. So as far as like cycle versatility, I say the Lomi would have to win that one. But to be honest, I do kind of love the simplicity of the Lycoclean. I don't have to think too much about it. And kind of going back to how the Lomi has that cycle that's friendly to microbes, the grow mode. They also come with Lomi pods that you can add into the bucket that is supposedly helping those microbes survive and stay active so that by the time you are finished, all of that material will be rich with microbes which can help your soil. So as far as being friendly to microbes, Lomi wins that one too. And I just have a few more thoughts on the different composting modes. The Lycoclean, when it's running, I told you it just has one mode, which as far as simplicity, Lycoclean wins. But this smart mode, it changes the temperature according to how much moisture is in the bucket. And so it's kind of this smart mode that fluctuates depending on what you have put in it. So it kind of takes the work out of you having to figure out, okay, what mode is best for me to run? Instead, it just handles it for you. It will change the temperature it knows how much humidity is in that bucket and it can run it seamlessly for you. I really love that about it. So for me, that's a win on having that smart mode that takes the work out of my job and makes it simpler. But just know with the Lomi, you are kind of able to choose how quickly you want it to happen or how slowly and how microbe friendly you want it to happen. A lot more user choice is involved when you have the Lomi. So as far as the bin capacity or the bucket capacity, of these things. The Lomi has three liters while the Lyco Clean has two and a half liters. So the Lomi definitely has a bigger bin. That means more food scraps can be placed in at a time. So as far as capacity, Lomi wins on that one. I would say both of them could probably handle a day to two days worth of food scraps if you are cooking a lot at home and preparing meals at home and creating those food scraps on a daily basis. The Lomi weighs about 20 pounds while the Lycoclean weighs about 23. So they're very similar in weight. I would say it's pretty even on that one. Both the Lycoclean and the Lomi do suggest changing out their filters every one to three months, depending on how much you are using the machine. So it's kind of up to you if you notice it getting stinky, that's when it's time to change the filter but there's a huge price difference in what's advertised by both of these companies. So if you go to Lycoclean's page of three replacement activated charcoal that you can put into the filter, so three packs for $18. Well, if you go to the Lomi's website, they will offer you a two pack for $55. So quite a stark difference in that. That's $6 per filter for the Lycoclean and $22.50 per filter for the Lomi. So for me, on affordability of the filters that are advertised, I would say the Lycoclean definitely wins. But just as a note, you can buy the activated charcoal bags that aren't branded by the different companies and you can save money that way. So I don't know if this is like a true win for the Lycoclean because you do have the autonomy to choose if you wanna pay a lot or not. But I don't like how the Lomi has their prices so high for their carbon filters on their website. I just wanna take a quick moment to pause because I totally forgot to talk about their listing price. So the Lycoclean is $239 with a $299 list price, while the Lomi has a $329 price with a listing price of $499, making about a $200 difference in their listing price, just so that you know. Another feature that I really loved about the Lycoclean is that once you close the lid, 
and you press start to a cycle, if you try and press the button again, it's not gonna mess it up or do anything. You have to stop the cycle by physically opening the lid with the button or yanking out the cord. The reason why I love this is because I have three little kids. There are curious fingers all the time. And so when they come around, they hear this thing running and they try and press all the buttons and be so helpful for me. It doesn't do anything. And like I've said, I've had the Lomi for a while and I have definitely had my kids accidentally stop a cycle in the middle and there's no way to keep the cycle going. You have to start it over. It's a huge pain. I've definitely had some not so great mom moments over that. So I really do appreciate that. So that's a definite win for the LycoClean on being kid friendly. When it comes to electricity use, the LycoClean uses 1.6 kilowatts per hour, whereas the Lomi uses anywhere from 0.6 to 1 kilowatts per hour pretty similar in how they run, but the winner is obviously the Lomi using less electricity, though it is very slight. And just so you guys know, like I have run my Lomi every other day for a while and I have noticed no difference in energy use for our home. So if that's something you're like nervous about, don't be, I don't feel like these home composting units really make a huge difference in your home's usage of electricity. I wanted to come on and give an update because it smells like, I don't know how to describe it. Not like wet garbage because it's fresher smelling than wet garbage, but honestly, I've smelt the smell with the Lomi. It is nothing new to me. Maybe this is just kind of standard of composters because both of them have this smell. I think they do a good job of filtering out most of the smell, but it can't get everything. So therefore, my house kind of has a funny little smell to it. Might be time to light myself a candle. Another feature I want to talk about is the lids. The lid on the LycoClean is very easy to open and close. When I'm like holding food scraps trying to get things in, I can just press the button, it pops open, I dump it in, close it, because I'm usually you know, holding things, holding a baby. Whereas the Lomi, I kind of have to stop and put everything down and twist that lid off and then get the food scraps in. So as far as like ease of use, when it comes to the lid, I do prefer the LycoClean's design. So I know we've covered a ton of features for both of these machines. So I made a little list to kind of summarize what I talked about and the different wins for each of these units. All right, so like we talked about, the Lomi wins are cycle variability. It is more microbe friendly, they have better packaging, it is lighter in weight, and it does have slight better electricity use. Moving on to the wins for the LycoClean, it does have a UV sterilization for sitting food scraps. It also has a clean cleaning mode. We didn't talk about that, but that's something the Lomi doesn't have. It is more simple to learn. It is fairly priced in both carbon filters and overall price. It's kid proof. The lid is easier to open and it is also slightly quieter than the Lomi. So now after seeing a list of those features, it's up to you, of course, to decide which one you prefer, but do they both work the same? Let's find out, let's look at the results and go over the three tests that I have decided to run and see how well they do. Starting with the results of test number one where we looked at food scraps as well as packaging. I emptied out the buckets. It took a little bit of work because there were some pieces stuck to the side of the buckets, but that's pretty normal. So you can see here the difference between the LycoClean and the Lomi, and I'm going to talk about them for just a second. You can see here, this was the bag, the compostable bag that I had. LycoClean, honestly, didn't look like it did too much to it, but I honestly don't use compostable bags hardly at all. So I'm not too mad about this because it's very rare I even have these. The Lomi, I feel like did a little bit of a better job. It's a little more degraded, or it might just be that maybe it was at a higher heat because the color you can see is quite different. The Lomi looks like it was almost on a higher heat and cooked it more, and maybe that's why the bag kind of looks that way. So if it was on a lower heat, perhaps it would look just like this as well. But you can even hear from the texture that the Lomi seems to be a little bit more crunchy. It was a little more crusted on the side of the bowl when I was pulling it out than the Lyco Clean was. Here's the sound difference with my mic. Overall, I think they both did an amazing job at breaking down 
all of the food waste. You can see that there are no giant stems or anything anymore. That giant sweet potato is completely gone in both of them. Just from looking at these results, I'm happy with both, but I think I like the results of the Lycoclean more. It just is more consistent. It seems to not have really overcooked it and baked it. I'm going to pause myself there because I kind of just kept rambling about the same thing. Just know that I was happy with both results, but if I had to choose a favorite, I would probably choose the Lycoclean. All right, so it has been two full days. Two. It has been two full days of the moldy zucchini and old bread sitting in both the loamy and the Lycoclean composters. Loamy has been doing nothing this entire time. It's probably pretty moldy and stinky. But on the other hand, the Lycoclean actually does something. If it is plugged in, it will be running a UV light cycle periodically. Not all the time. I have heard it every now and then, but it is a super quiet little mode. It's not disruptive. We'll see if it made a difference in keeping mold and bacteria down. If it did, game changer because I've had so many loads mold in my Lomi because I forget about them and I haven't run them. Let's go see if it made a difference. Oh, nasty. Yeah, so you can see that the results of the Lomi were pretty sad, just like what we expected. You leave moldy food in there and it's going to take off and get soggy and keep decomposing. So this is on par to what happens when you leave food in a composter. And going over to the Lycoclean, I was so surprised. So it's, yeah, it's kind of sludgy and just mush. But there's no mold. There is no bacteria growing on it. I was so surprised and so happy. It didn't have an awful smell to it. And it seems that that UV light really actually does work. All right, and moving on to the results of our very last test, which is where I put chicken noodle soup into the both of them. You can see here that the Lomi did really well. It had this nice, fine texture. The Lycoclean did great too. Had a few more chunks to it, a little bit of a different texture. But honestly, I'm happy with both of their results. It's just incredible to me that they both took chicken noodle soup and created this pre-compost material out of it so easily. All right, so I wanna finish by giving my final thoughts after going through all the features that they have and then going through the multiple tests that I ran and seeing those results. I wanna just give you my opinion of which one I think I like the best. And like I said at the beginning, you don't have to agree with me because this is my opinion. You can make your own decisions based on what you've seen and what's important to me might not be as important to you. But I just hope that this video has been helpful in showing you the difference between the two. But anyways, after seeing the difference for myself, I think everything weighed I think I actually do prefer the Lycoclean, and let me share with you why. The number one reason is probably price. Price is of huge importance to me. I am not that far removed from being like a poor college kid. I feel like sometimes I'm still very much in that mindset. So if I can save money when I'm buying a composter and they're also advertising lower prices for like the refills, for the filters that you need, I'm of course gonna go for the cheaper option that does just as good of a job, if not a better job. And as a mom, it's super important to me that it's kid-proof. I love that the Lycoclean can't be stopped by curious little hands coming along and pressing buttons. And honestly, the Lycoclean just having one mode having, you know, like mom brain where there's a million things on my mind, I've got to do this and that. I kind of like just putting in my food scraps, closing it, pressing start. I don't have to think about, oh, which option would be best. I love how it's just one. I don't have to think about it. And so for me, that was a huge win in my mind. And I do want to say that this does not mean that I don't love and respect the Lomi. I think the Lomi has been really finely crafted. I think they do an amazing job with their marketing, with their packaging. They have great customer service. I've never been disappointed with customer service thus far. I can't speak on Lycocleans because I haven't used it yet. I'm sure it's 
good too, but I can speak for the Lomis. So just don't take my remarks as me disrespecting the Lomi because I do think it's a great machine. I just want you to know that you should not be afraid to go for the off-brand Lomi versions. And for me, the Lycoclean, I can speak to that. I've tried it and tested it. I think it's an amazing option if you have some of the same concerns and hold things in importance the same way that I do. But whichever one you choose, I hope you see that they both can hold their own. They both do a great job. And like I said at the beginning, if you're interested in the Lycoclean, there is a link below in the description. And be sure to enter in the giveaway that they're hosting for your chance to win one of their really cool home smart garden system or one of their mushroom growing kits. It's really easy to enter. There's just a link below. You fill out the form and you're done. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, maybe I forgot to cover something or you're curious about some other feature that I maybe missed, please comment. I would be more than happy to reply and answer your questions there. And if you're interested in more content surrounding gardening and houseplants in the green world, feel free to subscribe. I'm always trying to come out with content that will help plant owners and eco-conscious people like yourself. So feel free to subscribe if you want more content like that.